Megan, Joel, uh, Drive Trade Lead. Uh, we're just gonna give you guys a glimpse on what we do in our meeting. Uh, right now, everybody's broken up the team, so Drive Trade is in this room because we have a pretty large team. Uh, everybody else is in that other room, but let's take a look at what Drive Train's doing. What's up? Oh, oh, right. What's up? Oh, this oh, this is my CVT <laughs> team I'm now in charge of because Gianna's been doing a terrible job. <laughs> Put it back together! Do it! So right here, they're practicing taking apart the CVT. So I just get some experience. Uh, these guys are going to be in charge of testing, and we're also going to be trying to make our own custom CVT this year. So we just get to give them uh, some good experience. How's it going, guys? It's going great. Yeah, did I do it? It was one miss, and he just cut it out. Yeah, got it. Nice. <laughs> what do you guys do for the team? All right, I'm Caden, and I'm uh, one of Gianna's kids. I'm a CVT kid. All right, cool. I'm also Gianna's kid, and <laughs> I'm dad. I'm Christina. <laughs> nice I'm cool. explosively <laughs> Joel's child. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Proud dad <laughs> moment, right? I love it. I love it. If you guys need to call the CVT, right? My plan was to take the output of the engine, right, in the running CVT housing, put a rubber band on it, make a little shaft to like a computer fan, and just power it with a rubber band. We considered that. Genius. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. No. Yeah. Why is this guy on drugs? Yeah. We should power the wheels with rubber bands. Oh yeah, no. that's a great yeah. idea. Yo, Jake. Have you noticed that? And other stuff people are always visiting us. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, electrical brakes. He's here for the drama. Look at him. What are you talking about? I'm always coming here for breakfast. Man took my seat and what are you eating breakfast in my. Oh yeah, I found your ID. Scoop it right here. Cat. We got our cat pit over here doing hard at work. Hard at work. Look at it. What are you guys up to? General design. General design what? What is general design? Uh, we basically don't do any work and let the computer do all the work for us. Except we have to do all the work to start. Yeah, we're, we're currently waiting for the cloud to run the simulation. We shall, we shall open it. This is going to be the first part that we use generative design for. Uh, basically what we're doing this for is to reduce weight. Basically, a, creates an optimal design for us to cut out an excess material while still keeping uh, a high factor safety or a satisfactory factor safety because she loves generative design. I don't love it. I have a little experience. Uh, she loves it. Look how happy she is. So uh, what is everybody working on right now? We are currently looking at uh, articulation angles for our CD, our arm outboard CD puffs that we possibly are getting. We were looking at these counter shock joints that they have the highest articulation, mm -hmm. but we need to get a quote from them first of all and uh, see how things work out. Uh, also looking into uh, materials that we use for uh, the axle. And uh, we're right now doing just a bunch of calculations and finding uh, materials to use. What are you working on right now? Yeah, so for our, our new seat this year, we're going to try to custom uh, make it ourselves. We're going to manufacture fiberglass and a couple of, uh, couple of other things. So it requires yeah. resin, it requires a couple of layers of gel coat, it requires all the layers of fiberglass. And we're looking at that right now. Surprising yeah. amount of math, making sure we can buy enough sheets of resin. And you're going to manufacture this all in-house? Yeah. Um, yeah, basically. We've been talking with the makerspace about ways to uh, make this easier to make the mold that's necessary for it. And it's all very feasible and we're all pretty excited about trying to get this working together. So we're pretty happy. We've got to make a foam. We're going to tease the cut you know, the foam mold out of it. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, fiberglass on top. So uh, here we got Brandon, we got Alex, they're working on our master cylinder. We're currently still discussing whether we want to do a custom master cylinder or just buy Wilwood. They're coming up with a unit price, they're going to get it to me and our design lead, and then we're going to discuss the benefits and the price comparison as well as weight. Onward. Christian. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm working on the second side of our pedal. So you're working on our brake pedal, right? Alright, how's that going? It's going fantastic. We, I am setting up the assembly with two pedals in it, and then I'm going to use the metal over to Jeremy to see what he thinks. So who is Jeremy? Jeremy is the lead of ergonomics, and he's who I've been working with, with all the pedals to make sure everything fits all nice and the driver's all nice and comfy inside that box. Awesome, love to hear it. Alright, we're moving on. Alright, come on, come this way, come here. Hey, who's this we got over here? What's your name, man? Tell me, tell the camera. Hey, I'm Jack. This is Jack. We finished simulations. We downloaded an entire uh, report that SolidWorks typed up, and we're just making, we're just documenting our progress. Now. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. How's it going over here? It's doing good. What, what's your name, man? Tell the My camera. Name is Tell Evan. the camera. What's your name? Evan. Sounds good. You guys like the caliper design? I do. Yeah. Have you guys been having fun doing it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sounds good. Are you guys excited to work on manufacturing? Yes. Yes. Yeah, very excited. Cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. 
Incredible. Wow. Incredible. Come up here. Come over here. <laughs> What's your name, girl? Turn and face the camera. Avani. And what are you working on? Uh, research for semi-active. Semi-active suspension. That was a project you were working on last season, right? Yes. And that got complicated. Yes, it did. <laughs> Very complicated. <laughs> hopefully we found a new paper for a new design that hopefully works a little better. So, we're looking into that. Sounds good to me. Give me some. <laughs> hey man, what's your name? Joel, what's up? Joel, tell the camera right there. Joel, what are you working on right now? What I'm working on is drivetrain. He's working on drivetrain. Yeah. What project are you working on? Me? Just telling people what to do. Come here. Hey, come here, bro. Come here. What's your name, man? Tell the camera. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Cota. What's going on? Emmanuel, what are you working on right now, man? Uh, so currently, I'm the electrical lead for this team. We have some pretty interesting things brewing up, mainly with a photo gate system and hopefully an active suspension. So I found a document that will hopefully prevent the need for driver input. We were just talking to Avani about that, right? Avani's the, the big star on that project. Let's go, girl! Yeah, the idea is to just remove the need for driver input. Worst case scenario, we actually uh, like the idea of using a pen geometer to immediately control the stiffness or the softness of the suspension. Uh, it's the meeting right before Thanksgiving, and it's a very busy part of the semester, so a lot of people weren't able to make it today. But I'll tell you, usually we have about six or eight more people here. Yeah, we're always kind of Any questions? No, you covered it. So that's driving. Hey.